Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica, and today I'm very excited to do a tag made up by one of my YouTube friends, Dolly Mama Beauty. This is the Palette Partner tag. So this tag was created by Amy, and her channel is Dolly Mama Beauty. If you have not checked out her channel, I'll definitely link a video up here in the eye, and I'll link it down below in the description box as well. She has some amazing series. I absolutely love her $5 Friday videos. She always talks about affordable makeup. She loves eyeshadow as much as I love eyeshadow shadow and I just think her channel is incredible and if you haven't checked her out please do she's about to hit a thousand subscribers I think she's right at around 900 so please go check out her channel I would really appreciate it so she posted a tag video all about palette partners or like palettes that you use together and it really got me thinking more about smaller palettes in my collection and also about like actually combining palettes because recently I found myself looking more for all-in-one palettes and trying to go to one palette for a look and not have to reach out but whenever I do sit down and play around with makeup I really do like reaching into different uh, palettes so I have four palette partners here I wasn't able to do the five I'm really excited about these so before we jump into the video don't forget to give this a thumbs up if you like tag videos and if you want to see any more tag videos and if you haven't already and you'd like to I hope you consider subscribing hitting the little bell icon so you're notified whenever I post a new video every Monday through Friday so first off I am like look and fall orange lipstick orange eyeshadow. I'm actually wearing one of the palette partners I'm going to talk about today, but of course I get all this fall aesthetic ready when the weather is about to shoot back up to like 80 degrees. I just want my fall. <laughs> Please. <laughs> okay, so the first palette partners I'm going to talk about today are the ABH Subculture palette and the Kylie Blue Honey palette. So let me just pop them open so you can see what I am talking about. I know my lighting also isn't the best, so I'll probably like take actual photos of these when there's natural light outside and it's not 6 a.m. <laughs> so you can see the colors a little bit better. But these are the two palettes right here. As you can see, we've got some very similar color stories here. You've got some nice blues, some nice shimmers, that beautiful mustard shade up here in the Kylie palette. Essentially what I love to do is work with the mattes from the subculture and bring in the shimmers from the Kylie palette Especially this blue shimmer right here and then this like taupey kind of copper silver right here on the top I can mix and match all the mattes in this palette with the shimmers in this palette because I'm not really a huge fan of the shimmers in the subculture. I really think that they could have used a little bit more work, but I absolutely love the mattes and the color story. And whenever I bring these two palettes together, I just find that I have everything I need and I never come away with a look that I don't love. I also like that I could technically get a full look out of both of these palettes, but when I use them together, I end up just coming up with different combinations and different looks with the two different formulas that I end up liking better than if I just use them separately. Okay, so now we're moving to a more warm toned palette combination. My next palette partners are the ColourPop Yes Please palette and the Naked Heat palette from Urban Decay. Okay, so I'm just going to cover up the mirror right here, but as you can see from these palettes, you do have some nice warm toned shades. I really like the mattes from the Yes Please palette because even though there is a good mix of mattes and shimmers in the Naked Heat, if you're not careful, a lot of the mattes can pretty much blend together. So I do like bringing in this orange shade from the Yes Please along with this yellow with the shimmers from this palette and even the mattes. Just like bringing in the Yes Please just gives me a little bit more versatility with the Naked Heat that I wouldn't have had otherwise. I also like that what you don't get in the ColourPop palette you get in here. You get a nice highlighting brow bone shade which you really don't get in the ColourPop palette but then also in the ColourPop palette you get like this gold shimmer and a light shimmer that you really don't get in the Naked Heat palette. And for those of you wondering, I did rearrange my ColourPop palettes. I pretty much rearranged every ColourPop palette I have just because they're so easy to depot. So if yours doesn't look exactly like this, that's why. And also I just dug my nail right into one of the shades and I was trying to hold it up. So <laughs> there's that. But I absolutely adore mixing these palettes together for some nice warm tone looks. And especially with fall coming up, which theoretically it should be coming. I am excited for when it does. These will be like on my vanity and my everyday palette section. 
Now on to the palette combination I'm actually wearing on my eyes today. They're both from e.l.f. So I have the e.l.f. Rose Gold Sunset Palette and the e.l.f. Mad for Matte 2 Palette. So it's actually a bit crazy that I didn't realize how similar these were until I was looking at palettes for this video, but the Mad for Matte just brings you so much more versatility to the shades in the rose gold sunset to the point where you almost see like matching matte and shimmer shades in these palettes like this orange shade to the orange matte up here looks very similar this uh shimmery shade right here looks fairly similar to like this like purple right up here and I used these on my eyes today. I used this orange shade in my transition on my lower lash line. I used the brown shade from down here to deepen up my outer V. And then I used the bright orange all over my lid and on the inner lower lash line. I really cannot get over how much I love the oranges in this palette. I adore the orange shimmer right here in the rose gold sunset palette. And then the orange matte in the Mad for Matte 2 palette is, oh, it's so blendable. It's just so easy just to throw into your transition, use on your lower lash line, and just oh, the combination of these two palettes, you really have everything that you need. I almost wish like they had made a bigger palette and just kind of thrown all of these together into one perfect like fall palette, but I'm not gonna complain too much because I love them separate and I love them together. So for my last palette partner pair, I'm gonna go, ooh, try saying that five times fast. Palette partner pair, palette partner pair, palette partner pair, palette partner pair. So for the last palette partner pair, I'm gonna bring in some color, finally. <laughs> finally, right? Again, we're using another palette from e.l.f. This is their Jewel Pop palette, and I like to use this with the Huda Beauty Electric Obsessions palette. Okay, as you can see in the Huda palette, you really get some bright neon shades and in the elf palette You also get some bright shades like over here, but for the most part they're like darker More muted colorful shades and I feel like these just pair so well together I also like that you get kind of more neutral transition shade up here in the um, In the elf palette than you do in the Huda palette, but I also love the absolutely bright yellow you get right here. Um, I really like mixing the matte green and blue and purple with the shades in here because I feel like the Huda palette didn't have the best combination of mattes and shimmers than it could have had and the e.l.f. palette really just balances it out since all the shades here in the e.l.f. palette are matte. Also to mention if you're looking for another fall color combination these oranges are gorgeous together. So those are all of my palette partner pairs palette partner pairs, palette partner pairs. Thank you so much, Amy, for tagging me in this. If you have a channel, I tag you in this. Even if you don't, let me know down below what palettes you love to use together. Thank you again, Amy, for creating this tag, and I hope I'll see everyone in my next video. Bye.